Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about meeting people and the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because I've noticed a big difference in how I people react when I meet them versus when I had hair. I lost hair, my hair when I was 15, so I still remember meeting people when I was 15 versus meeting them now and how it's different. So first thing, people do treat me differently and react differently when I meet them with and without hair. I don't know why it shouldn't be any different, but it is. A lot of people when they first meet me and I'm bald, they don't know how to react because they think I'm sick. And so there's like that extra caution of like, oh my gosh, you're dying. And then they figure out I'm not dying and they're okay again. And then when they meet me when I have hair, it's totally fine. No one says anything differently. And I'm like, huh, I've always wondered like, why is there that discrepancy of meeting me? I'm the same person, but like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it's different. But funny things about this is I'll meet someone without hair and then I'll meet them again with hair later and they won't recognize who I am. So I'll be like, I'll walk around campus and my teammates won't even recognize me. I'll like wave, hey. And then they'll pass me in a few steps later, like further down the road, they'll whip around, Ryan. And then they'll come and actually talk to me after. It's pretty funny to see how long it takes them to like recognize that it's me. And one semester I was taking a class and it was towards the end of the term. And so this professor has seen me every other day and so he like knows what I look like bald but I never worn a wig to the class so I went and I sat in on the class sat in I was in the class so I was sitting in class taking notes and he's like um excuse me you're gonna have to leave and I was like uh what because I didn't register that he didn't recognize me and so I was just sitting there like why do I have to leave I didn't do anything I don't understand and he's like you're gonna have to leave I don't allow sit-ins on my class unless you're escorted by um the people who give campus tours, whatever they're called. And I was like, um, it's me. And he was like, what? And he didn't register. I was like, it's Ryan. I'm Ryan. And he was like, oh my gosh, he felt so bad. And he's like, I'm so sorry. And I was like, wow, you're really mean to new people in your class. Dang. But it was fine. He spent the rest of the semester apologizing for it. So <laughs> it's okay. That was pretty funny. And then when I meet people with hair, and then meet him later without hair. <laughs> I almost feel like I'm catfishing people sometimes because I'll like, they won't know and I don't know whether to be like, hi, my name's Ryan. Next time you see me, I'll be bald. Like, that's a little strange. So I don't know what to do in that situation. And then later they're like, what? Or they don't know, like in both situations, whether you meet me with hair first or without hair first, I'll like, sometimes I'll meet people again and they won't recognize me. So I'll reintroduce myself and then we'll start talking and I'll see how long the conversation can go before they re realize it's me. <laughs> and I've gotten pretty far with people. Like, I think I've had an entire conversation and the guy didn't realize it was me. And then I met him again with hair later and he's like, oh, I haven't seen you in forever. And I was like, we talked yesterday. So definitely didn't know it was me when I was bald versus when I had hair so that's funny it makes dating weird because I don't know whether I should like go with the hair or without the hair I mean it doesn't matter but I feel like it throws people off really bad like first date you're sitting with someone and you have hair and then you show up and you're bald they're like there's something very serious in your life that's happening right now a or b they like don't know what to think so that's my meeting people for today and the funnies there's so many other things that happen when I switch it on and off like I had to convince this guy one time that I was bald he didn't believe me and I had my wig taped on so I wasn't gonna tape it off we spent like the entire evening like she's bald everyone else knew but this one dude didn't understand what was happening and at the end of the night when I took it off he was like <sighs> it was funny so I have a lot of good experiences and mixed feelings about it but i love it and being bald is so much fun but that's meeting people thank you for watching